It's the perfect time of year to talk about eating foods that are close to its source, and our next guest calls it clean food. Terry Walters is an author, educator, and clean food advocate. Her latest book, Clean Start, is filled with 100 inspiring recipes. Welcome to the show. Thank you. We're going to be making one of those recipes here today. We're going to make a couple of them, actually. And the idea about eating clean is to stay in balance with your environment. We're going to eat the foods that grow around us in season. So we're starting with some beautiful asparagus. Okay. And we're going to cook this super quickly. It only takes a couple of minutes in just a little bit of steaming water. Now, I'm, I'm assuming there's many health benefits to eating clean. Absolutely. And when we eat the foods that are, you know, picked right from the source, we're able to get all the nutrients that actually nourish every system in our body. And green being the most mm -hmm. important color and taste. There are all different tastes, sweet, sour, salty, bitter, and pungent. And we want to get all of those five tastes okay. and a rainbow of color to know that we're getting a balanced diet. So we're going to make a little dressing for the asparagus while that cooks with a little bit of olive oil and some garlic. Okay. I'm going to get that going. And while I'm doing this, I have some Inca red quinoa in front of you. Yes, I noticed the quinoa. People call this the perfect food. How come? Well, it is low. It has actually no gluten. It's very high in protein. And as a mom, what I love about it is mm -hmm. that it cooks up in 15 minutes. Oh, that's easy. So, okay. Yep. And so I've made that quinoa. And you can add to it. We have some, in front of you, some fennel. Ooh. That smells like licorice, correct? A little bit. Exactly. Kind of a... mm -hmm. And those are some toasted pine nuts. About how much of each are we putting in here? You can just dump everything in there. Oh, okay. It's about a half a cup half. of each. And scallions? And a bunch of scallions that, that I've chopped good. up. Mm -hmm. And those are dried apricots. Oh, and this will add a little sweetness. Right. Now, let me ask you mm -hmm. how did you get into eating this way? Well, I've been eating like this my whole life, but when my dad had a heart attack, and we're, I'm going to add, excuse me, some yes. lemon juice to this over here and okay. a little bit of miso paste. Anyway, my dad had a heart attack, and I was in college, and my mother said, go have your cholesterol tested. Mm -hmm. So I did, and lo and behold, it was quite high. And so I knew that I didn't want to go on medicine at that point, so I started paying attention to what I was eating. Mm -hmm. And after having children, I started teaching cooking classes, and someone said to me, could you find your recipes? And I only focused... Like, that's a great idea! <laughs> right, and I was only focusing on these, you know, super nutritional foods. Mm. And three years later, I self-published my first book, and now I have Clean Start, which is out, as well as another clean food. And I'll come back when the next one comes Oh, out. exciting! Where can we <laughs> find your book? There, wherever books are sold. Barnes & Noble, Amazon. Fantastic. Yeah. Now, am I going to put this olive oil in here You're as gonna well? You're going to add some olive oil. And a little bit of maple syrup. I love to Ooh. add nutritional sweetness so we don't crave non-nutritional sweetness. All right. And, and just I'll mix it together, right? Mix it together. And do your kids enjoy eating this? Will they, they do. They, we, we laugh in my family because everyone in my family eats. There's someone who eats every recipe in all of my books, but they never eat the same thing, of course, <laughs> <laughs> because we're human, too. And so over here, I've got some nice fresh herbs moving us into the season of basil, and I brought you some mint from my garden. Oh, lucky us! And I wish your audience could smell that, and I'm going to add, I might add that for you to add to the mix. Oh, wow, this adds a lot to it. Mm -hmm. Terry, tell me about the green fair that's coming up. So this Saturday at Urban Oaks Farm, Urban Oaks is an organic farm in New Britain, Connecticut on Oak Street. We're having a green fair, which is going to be they'll ha from 11 to 3. Okay. And they will have um, a full seedling sale. So if you want to plant your garden and know it's gonna, you're going to get some success, they'll, they have almost 100 varieties of tomatoes, cucumbers, oh, seedlings for all different plants for your garden. There'll be vendors, there'll be music, there'll be activities well, for kids. sounds like a fun way for to And spend a great a Saturday. farmer's market. Mm -hmm. This Saturday at Urban Oaks in New Britain. Now, did I forget an ingredient or what is, where is this going? So, and those are the sesame seeds to go on top. Okay, we're just sprinkling it on top. And a little bit of orange zest. Okay, we'll zest this. We have about a minute left. And I really don't like to have my asparagus too overdone. So as long as it's nice and bright green, to me, it's done. And we're going to take these off the heat. Oh, it is a pretty color. And put this in. And I'm going to put our dressing right on top of here. Wow. Um, we also want to, we don't want to forget about these fabulous energy bars, too. And in front of you, we have <laughs> the energy bars. And this is our dressing. Mix that up. And those energy bars are made with 
some pure maple syrup, some crispy rice, lots of different nut butters. Oops. And I'm Healthy adding stuff. And some Marcona almonds. How's that? All right. Well, I'm going to give this a taste. Because it looks wonderful. Mmm. Excellent. I probably could have taken a TV bite. <laughs> I took a lot of food in my mouth. I'm honored that you didn't want to.